What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. So, iOS 14 is a huge update, and I got the iPad Air 2, which came out in 2014, six years ago, as of me recording this video in 2020. And iOS 14 is supported on the iPad Air 2. So I just downloaded the public beta, and I'm seeing it for the first time. I just turned on the camera, and we're gonna visit the new features and go over the home screen. And let me give you my thoughts about iOS 14 on the six-year-old iPad Air 2. Wow, sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So a 2014 iPad, the iPad Air 2, which is still functional in 2020, a very good iPad, and I have the iPad Pros and stuff like that, but it's so amazing to see a device getting supported like this. Think about it, six years ago, when this iPad came out, it was King Supreme. It had all the good specs and Apple did its good thing with this. It had a laminated display, the home button, and it came out with some new features. Well, fast forward six years later, and it's still getting support from Apple. So right now, I've downloaded iOS 14, the public beta, on my iPad Air 2. And it is amazed how this device is getting supported. All right, so when you're looking at my home screen, for the average user, everything kind of looks the same. And what I've been discovering since I downloaded the public beta, uh, so far it's running really well. Uh, battery life has been really good. I'm not seeing any slowdown and any hiccups. And look, here's the thing. A lot of betas, especially if you go back to, to a lot of, you know, long time ago, these betas was pretty buggy. But right now, I'm not seeing too many things that's happening with the iPad Air 2. I mean, this is a fresh look. I like how I'm uh, using the iPad, and I use the iPad a lot. All right, so let's go and talk about it. You got your widgets now here, uh, which, you know, we saw this already, but they brought in some more features with the widgets, right? Uh, now with the widgets, you can hold on to them, and you can edit the widgets. You can make them big and stuff like that. So let me go down to my music. Let's go back, and I'll go to my music app in a little bit. Uh, let's see, let's go back up here and see, once you hold press on something, you can edit the widget if you like here, uh, and you can do all kinds of things, but if you press and hold the home screen, look like you can add your widgets and uh, it brings you up a different menu here, which you can add your widgets right here at the bottom, uh, which is nice. So uh, look, the iPad has been a very unique device for a lot of people and for it to get support like this, this is absolutely amazing. So uh, some of the things that I've been noticing about the iPad Air 2 is that it is like a fresh new look here, right? So it, it looks good, it feels refined. Uh, let's go to the settings here. Uh, some of the settings that I saw was uh, sound recognition. Uh, which is something new here in iOS 14, uh, which is uh, it's pretty neat uh, when you add it. If you have like a dog barking or something like that, it will display it on the screen. Well, display the, the text on the screen uh, as a notification, which is nice. So now you got, uh, you can add all kinds of stuff here uh, as far as your control center. So. Yeah, it's pretty neat, right? So I added that to my control center. I don't have any barking dogs or any moving cars in the studio. So uh, this is something nice if you are out and about and you got headphones on or something and you hear a dog barking or somebody knocking on your door or something like that. It's it, it's a pretty unique uh, thing. Uh, for the most part, everything has been pretty smooth and fluid, right? Uh, and again, you won't see too many changes with iOS. I mean, yes, you could do split screen and everything in between. Uh, let's see here, you got your control center, you got your notifications. Uh, here you have your multitasking and stuff like that. 
uh again you can go into uh all kinds of stuff here and let's see yes yeah, so i was listening to my tucker i love tucker i'm down in louisiana and uh it looks pretty nice and you could uh do all kinds of stuff here you could do your karaoke if you want to read back and you got all your texts here uh when the song plays so that's pretty neat also you got the siri changes right instead of uh siri taking up the whole screen let me see here let me get back in it turn the tucker music off i don't want to get hit with a copyright so let's go on and do the siri thing what time is it siri it's 10 34 p.m so as you can see right here siri now is not taking the whole screen it's only taking partial screen so that is some new enhancements that i like i really do like that so once you click on it it's going to give you uh the whole you know time gamut and stuff like that uh, i don't do any type of editing or anything here on the ipad but i do have the case here uh for my ipad and uh, this case is pretty neat i've been using this case a lot especially if i want to do some typing all right so this case is pretty neat all right and uh so if i pop on the case and i open up a word document here see if i can get that all in there for a second and let's see if i can open up a word document and let's do blank document and uh got it all right so here it is right so for everybody that like to type the keyboard looks pretty nice keyboard looks dope okay let me see if I can get here maybe I need to pair my yeah maybe I need to pair it up so I just downloaded iOS 14 and I haven't looked like I haven't paired it up yet okay let's see and maybe that's a bug Let's go down here. Oh yeah, so yeah, my keyboard is working. So maybe uh, right now it's not working with some apps. All right, so maybe it's not working with any apps. Uh, see if I get Word back in here. Yeah, so look like it's not working with Word. That's a bummer, right? So it's not working with Word right now. Uh, let's see if I can go into iMessage. Okay, and go to a new message and type. All right, so it is working. My keyboard is working, but it's not working with Word. So I have to, to see what's going on. Maybe it's gonna work in notes. Uh, and hopefully that uh, Apple will fix that. Well, again, this is a beta. All this stuff gonna be fixed with the final version, obviously, right? So. I would, I would, would be no worries. And uh, let's see, go in and see if I can type here. Yeah, so in notes, yeah, so in notes it will work. In the native camp, in the native apps it will work. So no problems there. So if you do have your Bluetooth keyboard connected uh, with iOS 14 right now, as far as Word, Word would not work on it because it still got some issues, which is fine. I mean, anytime you got a beta, you, you're gonna run into some issues, but that, that's one of the issues I'm finding that my Bluetooth keyboard is not working with Word, that's fine. So one of the things I wanna show you guys, and this is not pertaining to iOS 14, it's about pin support, right? Uh, I made a video about this special pin that costs you about 10 bucks, uh, and you can use this on the, uh, the iPad Air 2. And what I like about this pin is that it works just great, right? So uh, by the chance you wanted to draw or you want to do some, uh, jotting down some notes or uh, anything like that, this pin right here, again, I've already made a video about it, uh, using this pin in your iPad Air 2, which again, you can get it for the low, uh, now you can utilize the pin. Now, the thing about it is this does not support the Apple Pencil, but they do have alternatives out there. And this is an alternative if you want to use your iPad Air 2 and uh, to write some notes. Now, they do have apps like uh, Notepad apps and stuff like that, which you can utilize a pen also. So uh, I want to kind of show you guys real quick. And yes. So 
So yes, you can utilize the pen, uh, the pencil or the pen or whatever you want to call this on your iPad Air 2. So it works great and the latency is really minimum on here. So uh, yes, if you wanted to not pay for the newer generation iPad, you want to pick up a nice cheap pen, and I've, do, I've done a video about that, I will link it down below, uh, and you want to kind of utilize your iPad Air 2 uh, for pencil support, there it is, right? So you don't need to have that latest and greatest iPad Pros and stuff like that if you need to write notes and documents and stuff like that. You could do it right here. All right, so this is iPad Air 2, right? iPad Air 2 running iOS 14 beta. And let's go back before I get in this video. Let's go back, I mean, I talk, I talk all day, but let's go back into our settings. And uh, we're gonna look at something, X Siri, open up the settings. Okay, so uh, I ask Siri to open up the settings and let's go back to general and let's go to about and uh, yes, so this is the LTE version of the iPad Air 2. And I want to see, there we go, software version is uh, iOS 14. There it goes, right? Look, this video was not to show the features about iOS 14. This video was about just letting you guys know that you can download iOS 14 beta, public beta, on your iPad Air 2, which is extraordinary. So I might do another video about some of the things that I discovered. I just downloaded it. So for everybody that hit me in the comments and say, hey, they got this feature, that feature didn't show. The reason why they show that feature is because I just downloaded it myself. So I just wanna put that disclaimer out there before a lot of people hit me in the comments and say, oh, they got all these features you didn't show off. And the reason why is because I just downloaded it and I don't, I wanna play around with it for a couple of days or whatever, but I was excited to learn that you can download iOS 14 on your iPad Air 2 a 2014 tablet in 2020. That's awesome. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about iOS 14 and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.